everybody. Who and when can a person receive Holy Communion? This is a question that is frequently asked and it is also a question that is greatly misunderstood. Here are some basic steps to answer that. If you are divorced but not remarried or not living with anyone outside of a sacramental marriage, you are welcome and urged to return to Holy Communion. You may, however, need to go to confession beforehand. However, if you are living in a relationship that is not sacramental, for example, a marriage of a Catholic that did not take place in the Catholic Church without permission from the bishop, you are not allowed to receive Holy Communion. Living with someone but not married to them, you are not allowed to receive Holy Communion. This doesn't apply if you're living as brother and sister and the priest is aware of it. In a sexual relationship, even if you are not cohabiting that is improper outside the sacrament of matrimony, then you should not present yourself for Holy Communion until you confess this sin in the sacrament of penance. Non-Catholics are not allowed to receive Holy Communion in the Catholic Church. Read the document One Bread, One Body from the Bishops of England and Wales. It's on the internet. Anyone who has entered into what is known as same-sex marriage may not go to Holy Communion unless, of course, it's a purely legal arrangement between two friends, strictly nothing more. The priest is aware of this. The Catholic Church doesn't recognise same-sex marriage. You can arrange to have a word with your priest to see if a solution can be found that may enable you to return to the sacraments. Whatever your situation, you're always welcome to take part in the life of the Church and her worship, but that cannot always mean receiving Holy Communion. In fact, anyone in a state of mortal sin should not receive Holy Communion until they have sought and received absolution in the sacrament of penance, not general absolution, which may only be availed of in emergencies. Now, please note, there are many reasons why people don't present themselves for Holy Communion. They may not have fasted for one hour before Mass. They may need to go to confession before receiving Holy Communion because they have deliberately missed Sunday Mass. They may not even be Catholic. We should never be tempted to draw conclusions about why someone may or may not be receiving Holy Communion. Neither is there any kind of obligation for anyone to go up for a blessing if not receiving Holy Communion. Remember, the priest gives a perfectly effective blessing to everyone present at the end of Mass. I hope this helps to answer the question as to who and when one can receive Holy Communion. Thank you all for listening. God bless you all. Oh.